Hello friends, welcome to Apache Spark interview question series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in this series. So the question is, how will you do memory tuning in Spark? So this is a practical question and for your knowledge about practical work, if you have done on Spark, you must have faced these kind of issues. So let's see, what is the answer for this? How will you do the memory tuning? In case of memory tuning, in Spark, we have to take care of these points. First point is we have to calculate the amount of memory used by objects. So whatever objects are there in Spark that are using the memory, we have to sum up and get the amount of memory, total memory that is being used. And then we get the cost of accessing the objects. So what is the cost? What is the time it takes to access the objects? And we have to take care of the overhead of garbage collection so it's like a java kind of a thing where the memory has to be garbage collected if there are unused objects so that overhead also has to be calculated now based on that the apache spark like since it stores many objects in memory for caching so we have to do the performance tuning we have to do memory tuning so that we can get higher performance from this caching kind of a system so how do we do it? First, we determine that what is the memory usage our application is doing. So what is the memory being utilized by the application overall? So we can first create a RDD and put it in a cache. So after creating the RDD and putting in the cache, we can see the size of the RDD in storage page of web UI. So there is a web UI from Spark, which is used for monitoring as we learned earlier. So in that UI, we can see the memory size of that RDD. And this will also tell us the amount of memory consumed by this specific RDD. Or you can even see the total also. Now, based on this usage, we can do some kind of an estimation that how much memory will be needed for our task. So whatever job we are trying to do for that, how much memory will be needed because we need to know how many RDDs we'll be creating. And if we need to do some tuning, then we can follow these practices to reduce the memory usage. So first we monitor, we estimate, and then we tune it. So first thing is we should use data structures like array of objects or primitives instead of linked list or hash map. So in linked list or hash map, we have extra memory utilized, whereas in the array of objects or primitives, the lesser memory is utilized. So there is a fast digital library in spa that can be used for convenient collection classes for primitive types that are compatible with java so we can use this library for those collection types for creation of those collection types then we have to reduce the usage of nested data structures so if we have the nested data structures where we have a large number of small objects and pointers in that what we do is that we try to reduce the usage for example linked list that has a lot of pointers within each node so we have to see how we can minimize that and also it's a very good practice to use numeric ids instead of strings for keys so whenever we want to do memory training for keys we can go for numeric ids instead of strings so that we utilize less memory and last but not the least there is a jvm flag like if you are conversant with java there is a jvm flag for java process runtime environment minus access plus use compress oops so by this what we can do is that all the pointers can be made four bytes instead of eight bytes so because if we are using a nested data structure which has pointers so those pointers are unnecessarily taking eight bytes we can compress them to make it four byte pointers so that is also another good option to do memory tuning in spark 